Introducing 7 Fun Add-ons. Now SLT Mobitel Home Broadband customers can stick to their home Wi-Fi with 7 apps all 7 days with 20 GB data for just 195 rupees. Activate this package using your My SLT app today. Fun at home for everyone. ोटी <laughs> पैकेज <laughs> 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 Stay longer, use more, and get more data with the only home broadband connection that grows. SLT Mobitel Home Broadband Packages comes with data that grows bigger at no additional cost. Stay longer, use more, and get more data. Switch to SLT Mobitel today. the data for one whole day is the best day in the calendar what do you say slt mobitel happy data day home broadband customers can now log on to your my slt app and select any day under the happy data day tab to enjoy 24 hours of unlimited 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 data for ema.lk's mercantile esports championship powered by slt mobitel sri lanka's largest corporate esports battle 250000 rupees cash prize company gamers get ready to compete in 25 game time
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gamer Royal Kids Mercantile League Full Championship 2023, powered by none other than SLG Mobitel. And I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first match that you're going to be seeing on the live stream. It is going to be the Arena of Valor, a uh, best of three that you're going to be seeing. Uh, uh, yeah, Arena of Valor Grand Finals, best of three. Uh, we do have uh, two teams, uh, both representing. Uh, GSS, so Global System Solutions. They can have a look at the rosters right now. So either way this goes, they're walking away with uh, gold and silver. Uh, just to give you all a little bit of a history about the entire tournament, so this has been happening since 2016. We have had multiple winners over the last uh, couple of years, or, or rather since uh, 2016. But the last three years has been won by GSS, uh, which is Global System Solutions, uh, starting off in 2020, 2021, and 2022. All three were won by Global System Solutions. And by the looks of it, we are heading towards it. And we are just heading into the uh, hero selection here, or the legend selection. We are looking at a Wal uh, Valhen coming out from both sides. We have uh zane if i'm not mistaken coming out as the jungler for both sides we have natalia as the mid laner for uh spartans and on the side of white walkers uh we have gok uh, as the support or offline i'm not entirely sure again uh, has to, uh, we have to wait and see how they would decide to learn it so double a uh, double junglers picked up by uh white walkers here we have the butterfly being picked up as well so they do switch it up okay there we have we do have the support coming out uh, on the side of uh white walkers so butterfly is going to be their jungler so a little bit of a swap up here Crixie is going to be their support uh let me have a look here so we have gark as the support on the side of spartans with valhain as carry uh, who is going to be their mid diochan is probably going to be their mid player and zanis is going to so they're two oh, so they uh, yeah zanis is going to be their jungler uh on the other side we have natalia who is going to be the mid leo uh playing the butterfly who's going to be jungling crixie who's going to support and while him being played by dindu as the bot lane adc uh Ignore my terminology here and there because you know I do play a lot of Dota as well. I play a little bit of Arena of Valor, a little bit of Mobile Legends. So you know I play multiple games. So my terminology might be a mix of all these games. So I do apologize beforehand. But I really like this bottom lane or uh, bot lane coming out from the Spartan side. Uh, Gark Valhen, very strong combination. If you land a hook, uh, it's a, it's a bit uh, tough to deal with Valhen. Does. Uh, quite an insane amount of damage uh, every third hit on his uh normal attack does uh either bonus damage or i think uh some sort of life drain or slow uh something like that i mean i play the hero a lot i still don't know what the third hit does but yeah uh it's quite a strong hero i think i climbed all the way up to diamond with valhain so yeah if he gets farmed up it's going to be really hard to deal with yeah we have a hook shot here the sun is going to fall off from valhain as well and that's going to be first blood taken by spartans and it's going to be got picking up that uh, first kill so already off to a really good start like i said uh, if you land a hook uh, it's a bit tough uh, meanwhile krixi has not joined the bottom lane so the uh, dual mid lane in this uh, dual burst damage uh, with natalia and krixi both there is a lot of aoe spam a lot of magical bursts there uh, is that a player disconnect? Kind of, okay, no. Oh, another hook shot there from Gark rotating in at the right moment. Loki might be in trouble and he might be dying off here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what happened. Uh, was standing in one place, but Gark comes in, uh, managed to land another hook while the hero was backing off and managed to pick up a kill on Loki, who was playing the Natalia. So quickly, he's oh, another hook shot on to Quixie here. This might be another kill. Do they have the burst under the tower as well? Is it going to be enough to slow to follow up as well? A good uh, combination of skills there, making sure that they chain slow, chain stun. And in the meantime, they pick up another uh, with uh, Zane as well as uh, Valhain coming into that fight. In the meantime, stun flies out. Uh, Master Tricks looking for another hook shot. Does not land. He's going to manage to get away on that Valhain for the time being. So a bit of an exchange. But right now, Spartans off to a really, really good start here. Almost uh, over a thousand gold in terms of their lead. Loki having gone down is not having the best of times on Natalia. Natalia is a hero that uh, needs to get ahead uh, fast. And in meantime, they pick up the Dark Slayer as well. Uh, that's uh, Zayn, uh, the jungle on the side of Spartans, uh, going and picking that up. They do have the Dragon up as well if they want to go for it. Uh, we have a rotation coming in. 
So we have three heroes on the bottom lane. The mid lane has joined uh, this bot lane to try and pressure the bottom tower. Tower is quite low. There is a stun that flies out. The slow to follow up as well, uh, but managed to get away. So our vanguards have been spawned after the Slayer has been killed. So uh, they are going to be able to push the towers uh, quite easily. Gark misses another hook here on the bottom lane. In the meantime, top lane, we have a bit of a scuffle here. Falling down low, need to be careful. Pops the heal for the time being. Manages to dash out in time. It does have the potion to be picked up as well to get some HP back. Gark in the meantime, he's going to be recalling back to base to get that full mana up. So interestingly enough, White Walkers haven't made a play at the Dragon. They have three heroes bottom lane. There, Natalia has joined as well with the Valhain as well as the Butterfly. But if I've been the jungler, should be able to easily uh, do this uh, Dragon. In the meantime, trying to TP out Zane. He's going to be pushing forward though. Managed to catch him out. Uh, might be in a little bit of trouble and will get taken out. The stun to fly up as well. And Valhain will pick up that kill. Oh, meanwhile, the hook shot onto the enemy Valhain on the side of White Walkers. A oh, rough start, 7-0, almost a 3k net worth lead already. And they will claim the first uh, tower on that bottom lane. They're getting some insane farm on the side of Spartans here. A lot of work has been done by this guy. He's probably one of the best supposed to have. Uh, just for positioning, right? I think uh, uh, just like any other MOBA, uh, oh, meanwhile, mid lane, we might have another go on Crixis here. Crixis gets slowed up. The slow is there. The stun is there. The uh, hook shot coming out from Gark again. Managing to secure a kill. It's 8-0 in favor of Spartans. Um, so, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, just like in any other MOBA, I feel like uh, any hero that has a spell that can, uh, you know, mess around with your positioning is uh, very, very strong. That's why heroes like uh, uh, Gark is uh, quite strong. And in every game... Uh, Every MOBA game by this Mobile Legends, uh, Arena of Valor, League of Legends, or Dota 2, you would have a certain heroes that you know tends to put the enemy out of position. In the meantime, there's an ultimate being used by Chris. Is it going to be enough for the damage? The stun flies out, but it's not going to be enough as well. He cleans up the kill with his ultimate. And in the meantime, Gark is going to be using that ultimate on to Natalia on the bottom lane. Is it going to be enough though? Natalia popping the ultimate cancels it immediately though, trying to run away uh, with uh, who is coming in. Valhain is coming in as well. The stun is going to fly out. The kill is going to be taken. Bloodbath on the side of Spartans 12 to 0. And they will pick up that mid lane tower as well. Butterfly jumps in onto the mid lane. They are trying to do get this kill. That will be the first kill. Butterfly falling low, but that shield protecting her. Uh, manages to survive through it, so that's a big shutdown. But in the meantime, from the back line comes out uh, Zayn here, manages to pick up one with that ultimate and will follow up on to Valhain as well. So 14 to 1, they got one but ended up trading two there. Now the net worth is just abysmal here. It's uh, almost a 6k net worth lead going in favor of the Spartans. Uh, it's going to be a tough one to come back from. Uh, I mean, Spartans have to really throw this game for them to be able to come back. In the meantime, they pick up the Slayer as well. So trying to make it a clean game and uh, not wasting uh, too much of time. Uh, the first few items are coming out for the Spartans. Valhain as well. Valhain doing quite a bit of damage. But now Crix is using the ultimate here. Valhain may, might be in trouble. Butterfly comes in as well. One more hit and they will pick up the kill. Shut down. That's a very much needed shutdown. But in the meantime, there's a hook shot. The ultimate is going to be used on to... Is this Butterfly? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, but Valhain in the meantime, take oh, ticking down low and they will lose two. They are trying to clean up another. The, they will find one hook shot misses off point though he needs to be careful he shouldn't be fighting into this but he is going to try and he dashes into the fog instead of the tower and will end up paying with his life so it's that's an ace for spartans all five heroes down and they will lose their mid uh tower number two and uh i mean effectively making use of this uh slayer that has come through are going to be sieging through these uh, towers as much as possible. They have picked up the top lane towers as well. Oh, another hook shot by Gark on to the butterfly. Butterfly needs to be careful. Pops the shield for the time being, but he is going to get shut down with Zayn coming in. And now the Valhain is going to be in trouble as well. A couple of more hits. The hook shot lands again from Gark. What a hook shot. Yet again, this man has been absolutely insane. Master Trill uh, just putting on a show here. A hook shot does not land here. Natalia using the ultimate needs to be careful though. Uh, not doing enough damage, just just not enough farm, and Natalia just get bursted down. While well, trying to dive tower onto Crixis there, but will back off. But good god, the damage output there. Natalia decided to pop the ultimate and just got deleted there. Dragon 
It's going to be a tough one. In the meantime, uh, uh, the dragon has been slain by Zen all over again. So that's the second buff going in their favor. Oh, meanwhile, they try to go on to the Valhain here. The ultimate going to be used by Gark as well. That was actually not Valhain. Valhain is still alive here. Butterfly needs to be careful. We'll back off. Oh, another hook shot! Oh my good god! This Gark is just absolutely insane. That was Valhain immediately deleted. Mina bottom uh, tower number three has been taken out, and Valhain flying up against Butterfly. Butterfly getting close, but it's just not enough. Leo is not found enough on the Butterfly, and Valhain is able to turn that around. Gets a solo kill. Hook shot misses onto Natalia here. Natalia taking quite a bit of damage. Going to get stunned up as well. This might be a dead Natalia. Loki gets deleted. And the Dark Slayer has been defeated as well. So Slayers yet again have spawned. This seems like a very, very clean game coming out from the Spartans. Double the net worth right now. Quix is using the ultimate. Can they do something out of this? But the hook shot is going to be there. Trying to dash away. Manages to get the dash out. Will survive. But that's quite a bit of ultimate committed for nothing. In the meantime, they do claim two tier three towers and... They are going for the next dragon as well. That's the holy dragon that is going to be uh, killed off. That's just very clinical coming out from the Spartans here. A hook shot onto Valhen. A lovely hook shot. The ultimate onto two as well. But where is the damage coming out? There, there is the damage. Zen comes in as well. They are going to get deleted. Absolutely demolished. And that's going to be an ace with all five heroes going down. That's just destructive here. 31 kills to nothing and they are going to end the game right here, right now. JSS Team Spartans claim game number one in this grand finals for Arena of Valor. I mean, I, I, I don't think it has too much to do with uh, hero selection. I think it has more to do with uh, how uh, much more experienced I feel like Spartans is at the game. Uh, they were doing the right moves, uh, timing on the Slayer, timing on the Dragon, just absolutely uh, picture perfect. Uh, I think a lot of the mistakes that uh, that you normally see from everyone who does play casually, right, going for the Dragon first before you get the Slayer, what you do is you take the Slayer first to put pressure onto the lane so that you can easily go and take the Dragon. Uh, because if your Dragon is contested, uh, you don't want your Dragon contested, so you want it to be uncontested where they can get the Dragon for free. So Slayer, it's a bit more lax there. You, you get the Slayer. Uh, the, obviously, the team that gets the Slayer does have the advantage. But uh, having said that, uh, you know, it's always beneficial because if you do get the Slayer first, you're guaranteeing your Dragon or you're guaranteeing a tower that is going to come out of it uh, on one of the lanes, right? So uh, it's, it's a win-win scenario. It's just absolutely perfection. And Gark, I think, uh, played an absolutely wonderful game. The hook shots were on point. The rotations were really good across the map, uh, making players happen, uh, whether it was on the bot lane or the mid lane, he was making players happen across the board. And I think another mistake, they left the Valhain alone on the bottom lane uh, for too long. I think uh, either the Quick Six or Natalia should have joined. Uh, Valhain needs support early on. There's a hero that does not do well uh, in the early levels, like, say till like, you know, level, until the first item at least, right? Because you don't even farm fast until you get your first item. Uh, um, I can't remember the name that it's called. It's the, uh, the damage boost and it has like a chain lightning that goes through uh, where it makes it easier to basically get those large hits and clear out camps as well. Uh, so Valhain kind of struggles up until that point, uh, but uh, very effective in the laning stage coupled up with the Gark because you have the hook shot and then you have the Valhain stun to follow up and the damage that count, com uh, comes out afterwards. So, you know, it's a strong combination to have uh, on your side. So with that, uh, we will have be going into game number two. But while we do wait, a massive shout out to uh, uh, SLT Mobile. If you do not have an SLT Mobile fiber line, make sure to get yourself one today. It is the fastest connection in the country. Uh, there is, I mean, come on, guys. There is no better connection in the country. And uh, mind you, the speeds are not 100 Mbps anymore. Starting out this year, it has been upgraded to 200 Mbps. So for anyone who wants to, you know, whether it's just gaming or watching movies or downloading stuff, uh, there is no better connection in the country than SLT. Team Mobile Fiber, and with that, we are going to be heading into game number two here. Uh, this time on the red side is going to be uh, Spartans, uh, and on the blue side, it's going to be uh, White Walkers. So, a similar, almost a similar lineup. I think the only uh, difference is their mid lane on the side of uh, Spartans, White Walkers. 
uh, have changed up quite a bit. They're sticking with the oh, Valhen. Valhen is good. Uh, I can't remember the names of these heroes. Huh? That's, that's the only downside that you guys have with me. Uh, because, I mean, I do play Arena well, but I don't really remember all the heroes. But let's see. So we have Gaka, who was their key uh, hero to win on the side of Spartans. On the other side, we have Natalia Iringa Tia. Uh, so this wait. Are they are they playing uh, uh, Tell as their support here? And even the Valhain has a heal. This is like some weird skills to have. And they don't have a jungler. We have Malak, who is either top or support as well i'm not entirely sure anymore uh we'll have to wait and see so yeah mel is going yeah yeah, yeah. uh mel is, uh, mel is going top lane oh this is interesting why is natalia lane natalia is going mid hmm so they are doing a 2-1-2 instead uh they have skipped out on the jungle completely which is not advisable at all um interesting interesting but yeah they skipped around the jungle completely they are playing this uh, two on two lineup against the enemy side let's see whether it does help them in the laning stage at least in the meantime top lane uh he's gonna be fine right i mean uh oh hook shot almost almost now we've been pretty good with it even with the dual lane it's a lot of damage being taken here well and it's uh, kind of playing a support role here Yeah, because he does have the heal as well. Oh, he'll jump forward. Needs to be careful. Stand up as well. And the hook shot coming out from Garth. Well, and he's going to go to work on him. Is it going to be enough though? It's not going to be enough damage. He might have to get recalled all the way back to base. He cannot afford to stay in this lane anymore. In the meantime, Natalia put under quite a bit of pressure in the mid lane. While him gets hook shot in. Master Trail again putting on a show here. Will pick up the kill. And in the meantime, Natalia in the mid lane will get taken out as well. So already off to a really strong start uh, from the side of Spartans. And like I said, more than the hero selection, I feel like. Oh, hook shot. So close. So close from Master Trail there. The control oh, mid lane, the jungler has joined the fight. Zane has joined it and they will pick up the kill. But oh, now I remember the hero. Uh, this hero is just absolutely insane. So, uh, Syla just used her ultimate there. Uh, the, uh, that ultimate is just absolutely insane, right? It's, it's uh, basically like, uh, how do you say, lasers shooting out and not just one laser, like multiple lasers shooting out uh, for a duration in the path that you're looking to and you can move while doing it. Right, so it's just crazy. In the meantime, Zen is going to go in for that uh, Slayer now with the help of that top lane, and they will pick it up. And oh, another kill onto Natalia, another ultimate pop, and another kill taken. That's a tough ultimate to dodge without a dash, right? Like it, it, it is pretty rough. Uh, it's just uh, quite a strong hero, uh, but lacks in terms of mobility. So if you do jump on the hero, he. he it's pretty weak, but in terms of you know absolute burst damage is insane. In the meantime, top lane we have the Zane coming in from the jungle, whipping up that kill, and they are going to be working on the Maroc as well. Maroc going to be in trouble, but either wild tanky beast here. Are they going to be diving this under the tier one? Uh, no, they're not. So he's going to be able to survive, but they do lose one. So the two one two uh, laning stage not really working out. In the meantime, Gark with that hook shot onto the bottom lane, the ultimate going to be popped as well, but quite tanky. So these tanky heroes are going to be quite hard to bring down early. Oh, another hook shot by Gark. And this time he might actually die here. The stun is going to follow, but he's still surviving. He's so tanky. Is it insanely tanky? This hero is. Like I said, until the Valhain gets like his first item, he's not going to be doing enough damage to kill, like you know, burst damage. But we have the support Valhain coming in through the mid lane, using the ultimate, using the stun as well. But uh, needs to be careful. Needs to back off. Now the ultimate is going to be popped, and so much of damage. Look at the damage. Oof. And in the meantime, bottom lane tower takes taken out and Rex is gonna fall. So it's six to nothing right now. 4k network lead being built up by the Spartans. Quite a one-sided affair in both games, at least for now. So the initial boots been picked up. Uh, up and now the dragon is going to get claimed by Zayn all over again. Natalia in trouble in the mid lane. Uh, does have the slow. Gark looking for a hook. Might actually find it here, but no. The ultimate is going to get popped. Is it going to be enough? Oh, it does. It's so strong. Look at the range of that bloody thing. 
There is no way. That's just broken. Meanwhile, Chop lanes in, uh, joining the fight. Gark is going to be coming in as well. The hookshot is going to be there. We'll find that kill and we'll find the next as well. They will end up losing Joker there, but ends up cleaning the other two. Meantime, Dinidu on that support well and This is something that I haven't seen. Uh, bottom lane, though, Zane going to work. Uh, on the bottom lane, is it going to be enough? Uh, does have the support of the Berlin. They will pick up that kill. And on the top side, we have the tier 1 tower falling on the side of White Walker. So, 10 to 1 right now. Berlin trying to fight up against Zane. That's not a fight you should be taking. That's definitely not a fight you should be taking. Berlin coming in uh, with the stun to clean things up. And Spartans pick up another. Loki in trouble. And oh, he'll get taken out. Just so cheese, so much burst damage coming out. It's just the item difference and network different at this point. The level difference uh, is just hurting them. And they are going to be claiming that mid tier one tower in the meantime. Top lane, Myrock going to get hooked in as well. There is support coming through. Is it going to be enough ultimate spot from both sides? But is it going to be enough to kill? Oh no. To be careful, Malok still standing strong. There is their damage bow. No, but the mid lane, everyone joins the fight and they will end up losing both. Valhen trying to fight up against heals up at the last second. But it's not going to be now. Valhen is going to be the only one to get out of dodge there in the end. They lose three. They only end up losing their top lane on the side of Spartans. And they will lose another tower here. Only one outer tower left on the side of White Walkers. Very quick, very clinical play coming out. In the meantime, we have the Slayer being taken out by Zayn, played by LK Ryder. We'll pick it up. Oh, hook shot! You're dead. The ultimate gonna get popped. Well, hey, now does the damage coupled up with that mid lane spam. My good god, let that range. Oh, stun. Uh, on to Talon. Talon needs to be careful. Hook shot again from Gark. This man is insane, but Wilhelm needs to be careful. He does not have a get out of. Jail free card there will get shut down, but they do pick up another in return. So a couple of kills falling. Another hook shot onto Dinidu, who was playing the Valhain by Gark. Again making plays, taunting in the middle of all of that as well. Uh, he knows he's good, he knows they have the game. He is looking for another hook shot. I'm pretty sure he has gone for some cooldown reduction item. Oh, misses. At this point, why not, right? I I'm pretty sure that's a cooldown reduction item. They're trying to hold another ultimate uh, being used, so not really finding anything, just a little bit of chip damage. They still have the damage, right? Like, Natalia does quite a bit of damage. I mean, this hero has insane damage, but just needs a few items to buff that up a little bit. But is it just too late in the day? At least the difference is not as significant as it was last time. But in the meantime, another dragon has been uh, defeated this time. Valhen is the one to get the last hit there. Normally, you want to give it to your jungler. To get that, uh, what do you call it, the punish buff, um, the one that eats the jungle creep. I can't, I can't remember what what's it called. Again, apologize for not knowing some of these names. Oh my good God, the damage they hooked in another ultimate onto two heroes by Gark as well. This is destructive. But in the meantime, Maro comes into the fight. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not. They end up losing three, four. Only one surviving. Is there another hook shot? The jump forward needs to be careful. Looking for the kill. One more hit onto Valhen. Valhen survives. Another hook shot from Gark. We'll find the kill. And that's going to be an ace with the mid tower going down. And that's all over for the grand final. This best of three. Going to get whitewashed by the Spartans. What a dominant performance by JS Spartans. Claiming the gold medal and the silver medal to be fair. I mean, White Walkers, they're still second place. So going to get those extra points for GSS in the overall standings. Mind you, they are fighting for 25 titles. So quite a bit of more gaming happening in the upcoming days. Uh, you have a lot more happening. You have the single player titles. You have the multiplayer titles. You have quite a bit. But your winners today is going to be GSS Solutions Spartans. Uh, we have uh, Trilla, Trillan who was playing Master Trill, um, who was playing Gark there. Uh, Timira uh, was playing as Joker. Charmer as Elke Rider. Madhushan as, uh, who was playing the Valhain there. And Lithmi who was playing the Skylar Loft there. Uh, was playing as Skylar Loft. So uh, absolutely insane performance from the Spartans. Uh, just destructive across both games. So hats off to them uh, for grabbing that goal as well as the White Walker. So grabbing the silver for GSS in the overall runnings. Uh, 
I mean, you know, really good start. Uh, we might see a repeat for the fourth year from GSS. We will have to wait and see what company is going to uh, put up a fight against the defending champions, GSS. Uh, I mean, as the days goes on, uh, as the, you know, the weeks progress, we'll, we'll get to know this because, mind you, we have a lot more titles happening, a lot more titles to be streamed as well. All these grand finals will be streamed uh, live on the GameRodLK Facebook fan page. Make sure to check it out uh, for sure. Uh, title schedule, I mean, you know, join us every day at around 7 30 uh we will be having multiple titles starting at around that time so do check it out and make sure you do stay tuned in a uh, massive massive shout out to SLT Mobita for powering the entire event you guys are absolutely amazing i mean we gamers are able to uh, game at, at the way that we do due to the lowest latency provided and the best download speeds possible uh courtesy of SLT Mobita fiber so he, huge shout out to you guys as well as a reminder guys they do have a couple of gamer centric packages starting at uh, as low as uh, 500 rupees if i'm not mistaken so uh, quite a few data bundles just catered towards gamers do check it out if uh if you have not checked it out yet you can find it on their web page make sure to go and check it out uh but with that we come to the closure of the arena of Wallow grand finals and until i do see y'all again tomorrow most probably this is me Tara signing off catch you guys tomorrow see you guys